Welcome back to This Is A Commander channel, where this is a Commander channel, and today I'm going to be talking about Commander, Tough Rules, and Cool Interactions, episode 118. Today's episode is going to take a look at one of the most popular enchantments in the game that sees play in token decks and counters decks, that is, counters on objects, not counter spell type of counters. The card is, of course, Doubling Season, which is an enchantment that has two replacement effects. I have covered replacement effects in the past, so feel free to check those videos out for more info on replacement effects. But for today, I'm going to cover one of the most confusing aspects of Doubling Season. It's something that comes up all the time at my local stores, and I also see questions about it all the time on places like Reddit and in YouTube comments. So, we're going to focus on Doubling Season's second replacement effect for this video, and it says, If an effect would put one or more counters on a permanent you control, it puts twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead. Now the confusion with this effect is specifically how Doubling Season interacts with Planeswalkers. When you play a Planeswalker and you control Doubling Season, then your Planeswalker does come into the battlefield with twice the normal amount of loyalty counters, which makes sense. So now is when the confusion comes in, because once you use their loyalty ability that increases how many loyalty counters they have, they will not actually get twice the number of loyalty for that. Okay, so let's use a actual Planeswalker for this example. You control your doubling season, and then you play your Garrick Primal Hunter. We can see in the bottom right that he would normally enter the battlefield with three loyalty counters, but because of the doubling season, he will enter with six counters. And then, once he's entered, you decide to activate his first loyalty ability to create a 3-3 beast. And the doubling season you control would cause you to create two of those tokens, but it will only cause him to go from six loyalty to seven loyalty counters, not from six to eight. So why is that? Now, before I answer this, I'm going to make one slight change to this scenario with Garrick, and he's gonna be staying the same, but instead of doubling season, we're going to use Vornclex Monstrous Raider, which is a creature that has a similar replacement effect, but it is different. It says, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. If you controlled this Vorinclex while you played your Garrick, he would again enter with twice the loyalty counters, so six. But this time, when you use his plus one ability, the Garrick would actually go from six to eight loyalty counters. So what's the difference here? What is the thing that is causing doubling season to not double everything involving counters? When we read the replacement effect on doubling season, it specifically says that it only doubles things when an effect would put one or more counters onto a permanent. So that means that we need to then take a look at Garrick and find out why one thing is an effect and the other is not. So let's take a look at the comprehensive rules for our answer here, and we will see that in section 306.5b, it says that a planeswalker has the intrinsic ability, this permanent enters the battlefield with a number of loyalty counters on it equal to its printed loyalty number. This ability creates a replacement effect. So the obvious keyword there is in that last sentence is that it is an effect causing them to enter with their loyalty counters. It says that it is a replacement effect. And this is why the doubling season does double up what they enter with. Now we need to understand why it's different for activating their loyalty abilities and why you don't get double from that. If we look just a little past the previous rules note and then check out Comprehensive Rules 306.5d, we can see that each Planeswalker has a number of loyalty abilities, which are activated abilities with loyalty symbols in their costs. And there is more to that rule, but it isn't relevant to this episode. The important takeaway from that Comprehensive Rule is that the loyalty symbols that we see are simply the cost in activation activating their loyalty abilities. And in magic, the cost to pay for something is not an effect. And that's why doubling season 
does not see the doubling of their loyalty activated abilities. The episode for next week is going to take a deeper dive into this scenario as there is actually something to much more complicate things quite a bit more and I wanted this episode to just cover the basic and much more common interaction that doubling season has with planeswalkers or I guess I should say the lack of interaction that doubling season has with planeswalkers. Anyhow, that's all I've got for today's episode. As always, I hope that all of you have found this video to be entertaining at least, and I hope that a few of you have even learned something about the crazy rules in this great game of magic. Have a good one. Ta-ta!